Not insulin. It's not insulin. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I can't believe it's Thursday already. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney J. The J stands for Dirk because my kidneys are a pair of Dirks. And this is another Pink Fairy video. Pink Fairy, Pink Fairy, uno, dos, tres. Give me a thumbs up for my poor Spanish. Anyways, this is, uh, we're actually, this is a recent one I'm doing. Your girl is up to date on her pink fairy. So this was um, at the time of this upload. It would have been yesterday. She uploaded a video that sort of uh, caught my eye called What I Ate Today slash Living with Diabetes. Now, she gives herself a injection in this. So if you're squeamish about that, there's your trigger warning. Um, also, spoiler alert. She doesn't show everything she eats today because if she does, did, she would be, you know, <laughs> she would be malnourished. Anyways, let's get into this. I'm dressed, got my medicine in me today because I forgot to take my medicine yesterday morning. I could not believe that. I went to take my yesterday evening's medicine and I looked at my container and said, I forgot to take one of these medicine. So. All right, I guess that can happen. But remember the other day she was shaky, shaky, shaking her little pill case? I don't know. It's just, um, it's so habitual for me to take my medications. I can't remember the last time I forgot. I'm just saying. Got it done this morning. Get ready to, um, um, do my blood glucose, see what that is. I do it every morning. Um, Cause I gotta write it down for a dietitian. She wants it. I'm gonna go see her next week. So I think I've mentioned this before. Um, I just find it so funny that she has to write down her glucose numbers and it's not on her actual glucometer and she doesn't bring that in. Um, they do that now all the time for patients at dialysis first of all you can't cheat you can't fudge the numbers and second it's just so much easier so I don't know why she is not doing that maybe she said she prefers to write it down so she can fudge the little numbers by the way leave a comment down below I appreciate it and subscribe if you're new also um let me know if she's actually ever shown her blood glucose because I haven't seen it that would be something interesting I'd love to see that Man. Eggs and cheese. Yummy. Just having eggs and cheese. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing more. But okay, so <laughs> I think this is only the second video I've done about like what she's eating and so many eggs. I understand that they're low protein. Sorry, high protein, obviously low carb, but Correct me if I'm wrong, she has a cholesterol issue as well. It's also shot day. All right, this yeah, is why I we're here. This off. And they say to do the shot in the same spot every time. Just pull that off. Did she say they say to do the shot in the same spot every time? I don't think that's right. Is that right? No, you're supposed to switch up where you do your shot, no? Listen, okay, I've had to do injections for various reasons. I've had to do heparin injections, uh, subcutaneous, which is how this would be done just under the, um, just basically in your fat. Uh, I'm a thigh girl. I hated doing injections in my stomach. I was always told never, ever do it in the same spot. Like always switch it up. And then you gotta unlock it. And it's real easy. I just do it right in my belly. And then you hold this button down. Sometimes I feel it, sometimes I don't. When it clicks back up, it's done. If I can see it there. Easy. This is the shot that helped me. Um, it also help, it helps your insulin, but it also uh, 
or not insulin. It's not insulin. Okay, so she's all like, it's not insulin, it's not insulin, it's not insulin. Now, I've had people in the comments comment to me saying she has a Sharps container in her kitchen. And how possibly she's lying that she's actually on insulin. She just doesn't want to show people or tell people. Listen, her Sharps container, I'm not defending her in any way. I'm just saying that Sharps container could be for her Lancet from, um when she takes her blood sugar I'm just saying um she could be on insulin because you can be on trulicity and insulin as well um by the way yes trulicity is not insulin uh it does it helps basically your produce your body's natural insulin helps you produce more of that um but if it was if she was on insulin i don't understand the stigma of oh my god it's not insulin it's not insulin okay so what you're diabetic you have to be on insulin i don't understand why every oh, it's not insulin it's it's uh, i just don't i don't understand it um but yeah, so, and this Trulicity, I believe, helps um, slow digestion and it helps with your appetite and everything. Since she was sort of trailing off and not really saying what it does. It's to, um, it says, oh, put this back on there. I don't know why, but I don't. And then you just throw it away. It um, helps curve your appetite and then it also, um, it does lower your blood levels, but it's not insulin. I don't know. They have the, they have another one too out there. It's more expensive than this one, but I do that every Thursday, once a week. Give me a little mayonnaise. Okay. <laughs> so now we're into, uh, her second meal. And this is, I don't know, if you're getting a spatula out to put on your mayo, it might be more than a the little mayo. mayonnaise. Just a little mayo goes a long ways. <laughs> That's not a little mayo. And it was, it was, I think, the fat reduced mayo. Oh, Which, by the way, definitely be careful of because when they're taking fat out, they're taking sugar out, they're adding other crap. Guaranteed. So we're almost out of cheese. A little for her, a little for the wrap. This is just roasted. Yeah, used to get the honey, but we just get roasted meat now. And then you roll it as tight as you can. Ooh, look at her roll. Keep all the stuff in it. She. <laughs> That's our idea for some. Okay, so she's cutting this up. Okay, this is what we call around in these parts, redneck sushi. You take a tortilla, you put your fillings in it, you roll it up, and then you, <laughs> you cut it up and we call it redneck sushi. You could put like sour cream, cream cheese sort of mix with like salsa and cheese. You oh. could do like cold cuts. Probably when you all in there a long time ago. And I don't know what she's saying there. That's pink farinese. Make your own. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so there is a cross section. All right, looks decent, but um, yeah, this is basically it for the video. She uh shows us her cross section, and that's what she ate in a day. Um, press X to doubt. And there's just one more thing I want to show you, and that's this. I've got to put my. Okay, so just here, those are skin tags. Skin tags can be, you know, you can have them just because you have them. You've always had them. But if you're seeing skin tags sort of crop out, up out of nowhere, that's a sign of insulin resistance. Just saying. So if you happen to see, you know, skin tags just out of nowhere all of a sudden, um... Maybe get that checked with your doctor. Just saying. That's my little PSA today. Anyways, that's it for me. 
Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all your eyes and ears. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Pepperoni's on there.